welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the Element Collection and an introduction to my channel. Uh, on my channel you will see mostly science related videos, mostly chemistry and sometimes physics, a lot of experiments, mining, gold panning, extractions, refining materials, so things like that. Uh, if you have any suggestions for experiments or things that you want to see on this channel, feel free to leave those down in the comments. But without further ado, let's check out some of the elements on this board. Over here on the left side of the board, we have potassium nitrate representing potassium. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, chemical compounds that contain uh, the element and then I'm mounting them on the board. And then when I get the pure form of the element, I'll just replace it with that. We have magnesium ribbon. That's pure down here, tungsten, molybdenum, chromium, manganese, some cobalt, copper, there's a little bottle of gold I got from a rock museum, just some little flakes. This is some mercury. That is a little tilt switch. I got about a hundred of those on eBay and I was getting the mercury out of them, which is not really an efficient method to get mercury as I only got about a gram out of a hundred of them because it's such a tiny little dollop. I don't feel like I lost money on it because they're so incredibly cheap. I think I paid two dollars for the hundred. Up here is some tin that I got from a new tin solder. I think it's 97% pure. Some gallium. As you can see it's not melting right now. It's quite cold out. It just snowed last night so it won't be melting maybe in the summer but probably not even then. Here's some aluminum. That's uh, the foil crumpled up. I was hitting that and just made a little shape out of it. Here's some silicon, sulfur powder, and obviously this is not chlorine or pure chlorine because this uh, chlorine is a gas. This chlorine here is a solid. This is a pool tablet. I believe 82% chlorine concentration. This is some tellurium. Bismuth, which is not in its kind of crystal form, but it is, you can kind of see some colors on it. My camera refuses to focus. Anyway. Down here is some lead. I got that from a, a really old solder from like the 60s, maybe even 70s. And down here are my radioactive elements. This one over here is some thorium. It's not pure thorium, it's from a lantern mantle. And it is radioactive, along with the americium over here, as my Geiger counter here will prove. And I probably will sometime in the future make a video about this Geiger counter, maybe how to use it, some tests with it. But as you can see, it quickly spikes. And I think I've gotten well over 400 counts just with that specific lantern mantle, which I bought on eBay for around three, maybe four dollars. Uh, most of the elements on this board I have been buying on eBay. Uh, if you're starting an element collection, I would definitely recommend checking that out. They have a lot of great sellers on there who have most of the elements and they usually have some pretty reasonable prices and of course samples. And here is some of the packaging I got. So here's like what they would come in. Oops. This is my, I can't really read the handwriting. I want to say that's manganese, that's an N, could be wrong. This is molybdenum, little beads in there. Uh, I have lithium down in there, but I have to put that in an ampule before I can mount it because the container that it came in is too big to fit on the tile. Uh, speaking of the tiles, I was getting these tiles at Habitat for Humanity, the store that they sell at. Got all of these, plus I think like 20 more for I think 4 or $5. This is just some heavy duty cork board. If I was to go back and remake this whole thing, I would use the same tiles because those are fine. But I'd probably glue them onto something a little more sturdy than the cork board, something like maybe a plywood because this is rather flimsy and I don't think it'd be able to hold up too long if I was to mount it on the wall, which I can't because it's very heavy. I think it's 40 pounds and the walls in here are just sheetrock so it would just fall. 
Um, so I have been getting most of the elements on eBay. I had got a few uh, at garage sales, like the sulfur. This is just some, got 50 cents at a garage sale. And some I found around my house, such as the copper. I got that when I took apart an old DVD player. The silicon I got from a collection. Uh, what else? What else? You can find mercury in old thermometers and tilt switches. Um, I have these little stickers on here to label them. Those are just little office stickers. I think it makes it a little easier to know what elements what. Um, another great place to buy elements from is antique stores. Um, I found it interesting to bring, if you have a Geiger counter, walk into an antique store with your Geiger counter and go to dishes and stuff because you might find some like Fiesta ware or some uranium glass, which would be kind of cool to add to a collection. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.